Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about understanding of TCP socket programming, topic of computer network. So let's start with introduction of socket. So first of all, what is socket? Socket is an endpoint of the two-way communication between programs running on the network. It means socket is required when two programs running on the network in two different pieces. So both the program communicate with each other with the help of socket. Next, how many types of socket? There are main two types of sockets. The first one is stream socket and the another one is datagram socket. Next, the characteristics of socket. The characteristics of stream socket is reliable and error free services. So it means during the transmission from sender to receiver side, any packet is lost or damaged, which is again sent by the sender. So another characteristic is sequential packet delivered. So it means sender can assign sequence number to the all the packets and sending one by one in a sequential manner. So using the sequence number, reliable and error-free services are provided by the stream socket. Next, datagram socket characteristics are unreliable and best effort service. So here unreliable means lost and damaged datagram is not again sent by the sender. And the best effort service means all the datagram reached at the destination within a small period of time. The another characteristics of datagram socket is datagram may arrive out of order. So it means datagram socket cannot assign any sequence number to the datagram and all the datagram put on the network link simultaneously. So all the datagram reach at the destination within a small period of time because datagram socket provides the best effort services in compared to stream socket. Next application of sockets. So based on characteristics, the application of socket is telnet or SSH and HTTP, HTTPS. So it means the stream socket application is based on the request and response behavior. So based on application, we can say the connection is established before sending the data through the stream socket. Then after sending the data and then connection is terminated. And the application of datagram socket is live streaming audio or video. So it means no connection is required to send the data directly sender sending the data through the datagram socket to the receiver side. So based on the characteristics and application of datagram socket, we can say there is no connection establishment between the sender and receiver directly sender send the data to the receiver. So based on characteristics and application of stream socket, we can say stream socket is associated with the TCP socket also known as the connection oriented socket. And the datagram socket is associated with the UDP protocol. So it means UDP socket. So it is also known as the connection less socket. Next, other sockets. Other sockets are row socket and sequence packet socket. So here row socket is associated with the UDP socket or we can say datagram socket. And sequence packet socket is associated with the TCP socket or the stream socket. Next. What is socket programming? Socket programming is a way of connecting two nodes on a network to communicate with each other. As per the definition of socket, socket is an endpoint when two programs are communicate with each other on a network. So it means socket is created on the particular machine or PC. So here we can say using the socket programming, we are connecting two different nodes on a network for the communication purpose. Next, which functions are used for the socket programming? There are main functions of the socket programming are the first one is socket, next bind, listen, connect, accept, send receive or send to receive from and the last one is close. So now understand all the system functions using the telephone analogy. So let's take one assumption client is equal to user 1 and server is equal to user 2 because we all know that the socket programming is used in the client server architecture. Now the first function is socket. So as per the definition of socket, the socket is an endpoint of two-way communication. So here telephone is installed at user one side and the user two side. So now we can say the socket is the endpoint for communication like a telephone. The next function is bind. So we all know that in telephone communication, assign a unique number to each telephone. So it means using the bind function, we can assign the unique socket address. The next function is connect. So whenever user 1 wants to communicate with user 2, at that time user 1 will dial the user 2 telephone number and then try to connect with the user 2. So here using the connect function, client connect to the server port. The next function is listen. 
whenever user 1 is calling to the user 2 at that time user 2 is listen the incoming telephone ring from his or her phone so it means using the listen function waiting for the connection so here user 1 is waiting to connect with the user 2 next function is accept so whenever user 2 will pick up the receiver it means accept the call so here accept function means accept the connection by the server the next function is send or receive so after accepting the call by user 2 so user 1 and user 2 will communicate with each other and exchange the information so here send and receive function means exchanging the data between the client and server the last function is close after exchanging the information user 1 and user 2 hang the receiver on the telephone it means end of communication so it means close the connection so if you want to learn all the function in detail with the programming concept then click on the above i button next understanding socket programming with tcp so here in this topic i have explained the flow of program so we all know that the tcp socket programming is used in the client server architecture in tcp socket program server and client programs are separate so here i have explained server and client program flow so first of all at the server side server will create a socket after creating a socket server will bind the services running on the server machine so using the bind function server will bind ip address and port number with specific service then next function is listen to purpose of listen function is listen incoming connection from the client server can handle the multiple client at a time the next function at the server side is accept the accept function is block until the connection from the client at client side first of all you have to write socket function using the socket function you have created a socket then write next function is connect using the connect function client can try to connect with the server port so after receiving a connection request at that time accept function is execute at the server side so it means connection is established between the client and server so we all know that after the establishment of connection now the next process is data transfer so it means we have to write read write or send receive function at both client and the server side so first of all client send a request to the server so server will receive that request and read that request so after execution of that request server will processing a request and use send function or we can say write function to send a replay to the client so here now client receive a replay from the server so here in this flow write means the send function and read means the receive function still client want to send another request to the server at that time again client send a request to the server and again server will reply to that request so using the read write or send receive function client and server exchange the data after exchanging the data client and server use the close function to close the socket at the client and the server side so this is the flow of tcp socket program so if you need a code of tcp socket program then follow my blog eduresources1.com so tcp client and server program codes are available on my blog so if you want to understand all the functions of the server and client in the detail with the help of programming concept then one video is available in my channel the video name is system function for socket programming so if you want to learn about the UDP socket programming, then click on the above i button. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe me on YouTube Chirag Balodia and follow my blog EDU Resources. All the video materials are available on my blog EDU Resources. And all the links are given in description.